Hey guys, this is the a bison, or you could have ordered the Viper. They come with one, two, or three batteries. That is what tells you the price on it. This is literally how my box showed up. This is an AliExpress jobber. Here it is. Look familiar? They almost, eh, just almost, did as good a job as Hosum did with the HyperGo on making it look like an outcast, but not quite. Um, 70 bucks, right? Um, shocks aren't adjustable, but they are metal. The shocks in the front are tough as can be. Shocks in the back, plenty of give. I think it's why in the video with wheelies, we're gonna find out in a second. In the box, you get a user manual, the tiniest screwdriver handle, and Phillips head that you could possibly ever get. And you get the decal sheet. I put those decals on. Except in their picture, they had a sunroof on theirs. I ordered the sunroof option. And I didn't get it. Bummed about that. No power button on the car, on the bison. It says it's by, I don't know, maybe you can figure this out. Sabita or something like that. Um, but I think it was like JMRC. I'm going to put it on there so you see it. Here's the control. You can see you can adjust your trim rates and everything else like that. Hope that focus is enough. Got your little faux disc brake in there. And then there's a button here for your lights. You got lights there in the front? Turn your lights on and off with that button. Pretty neat, I guess. Uh, except the fact that you can't adjust the shocks on this thing and it's got a Velcro body. So it's got these two pieces of Velcro and these tabs that it has to sit in. And then as you can see, uh, yep, it's sealed. So we would have to take this off to work on this guy. No, it's not a full size servo or anything like that. That is the size of the battery. It will not take a much larger battery than that. So whatever performance we get out of this today is pretty much where we're gonna call it. Maybe we could use the body on something else. Um, $70, you get a $20 coupon off, 50 bucks for a present, might not be bad as long as it shows up in a box that you could gift, which I would not be able to do. But enough uh, jabbering, let's uh, get this thing going. Well, it jumped off the back of my truck and that surprised me, to be frank. I actually thought it was just gonna crash and I didn't mind because of the way it was packaged. Now in the videos, I saw this thing wheeling. I'm not seeing any wheeling now. You guys see any wheeling? I'm on a full charge battery. Throttle is all the way up. I get to spin out. I can get it to wheelie. I'll have to check some of y'all's videos and see if you guys got the thing to wheelie. I didn't. I was impressed though that it was able to do that landing over here.
Okay. Truth of the matter is, I cannot badmouth this little guy, this little bison. For 70 bucks, it held its own. And uh, I jumped it a bunch, whacked it around, beat it up. And it wasn't until the very end that I could hear that the gears and the diff uh, started slipping. Um, but the thing did pretty good. I can't, you know, complain about it. I wanted to, and I'll tell you why. You know, you get a banged up box and you get like no information inside the manual, not even a phone number. And you're like, all right, well, who is supporting this cute little thing, right? Where am I gonna get extra parts? And then you find out like the shocks can't be adjusted and everything. So you, you have these preconceived notions because of all the RC cars you've run, but then you come out and the thing's making landings, it's going over stuff. Stuff It did not really, like it was in uh, the video for the car. So, you know, I mean, it doesn't have the power, maybe it was advertised, the battery was fully charged, but uh, yeah, the 4x4 Bison, or the Viper. And you can buy them with multiple batteries. I only got one, because I have lots of different batteries that are, that are the same size that'll fit and work with it. It uses some little battery. It's using an 1100 milliamp 2S lithium ion battery. Um, you see there's a heat sink that's in there. It's on top of the little motor and everything else like that. And here's your receiver ESC combination. There's not much to it. I mean, it's got like a double wishbone suspension, but you know, they're tiny. Look, you know what? I'm not gonna bad mouth, mouth the car anymore. If you could pick it up, and get it for that 50 60 dollar range i'd say it's probably worth doing it'd probably be a fun gift for a kid um it's pretty neat that's it for the bison review